Hi guys, welcome to reading. So today I want to start off with kind of a pretend situation. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about our characters, Frog and Toad, that we've been reading so many stories about and what you know about them. So collect your thoughts and think about what have we learned about Frog and Toad as we've read all these stories. What character traits and emotions have we seen from their words and from their actions? Now, I want you to pretend that Frog and Toad have been invited to a hot air balloon adventure. So if you don't really know what a hot air balloon is, it's like it has a big basket where people can come and stand in. And that basket's attached to this giant balloon that when they turn on like an engine, it blows the balloon up. And so the balloon can take off and you can see everything below you. It's really cool. So let's pretend Frog and Toad have been invited on this hot air balloon adventure. But there are some things they have to do. They do have to get up super early in the morning to get there. It's also a little cold outside, so they're going to have to really dress warm, okay? But this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get on a hot air balloon, which is pretty cool. So I want you to think about that story and think about what Frog and Toad would do. So, for example, I know Frog is a positive character. He's usually always trying to find the solution for him and Toad. He's also very, what I would say, outgoing. He loves to get outside. He loves to do things with his friends. And he's also responsible, as we've learned in some stories where Toad was not cleaning up his house. Who showed up to help him clean and kind of remind him, like, you need to clean up your stuff and get it done today so you don't have to do it tomorrow. It was Frog. So knowing that Frog is responsible and positive and outgoing, some characteristics I know about him, I can predict or guess that Frog is probably going to get up early, set out his clothes so he's ready to dress warm, and go on this air balloon or hot air balloon adventure. Now, what do we know about Toad? Toad loves to stay in bed. He's pretty lazy sometimes. He can be kind of negative or he like he gives up pretty easily if something's hard. Um, and to me, he doesn't seem very responsible. He seems irresponsible. So I feel like Toad is going to kind of react or do the opposite where I feel like he's not going to get up early. He'll probably sleep in and miss his alarm. He probably won't want to like get ready to get to the hot air balloon. And so I just feel like he's not going to go, right? He's a little irresponsible. He's lazy. I feel like Toad won't go and Frog would go. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, so today I want to teach you when readers know a character well, like, like the way they know their best friend or someone in your family, they can predict or guess what the character will do next. And that's exactly what we were just doing. We know our characters, Frog and Toad, and when we're given a story or some events of a story, we can then pause and predict or give a good guess about what those characters are going to do using what we know about them, okay? All right, so today um, I'm going to read this story of Frog and Toad called Alone. And I wanna show you how I'm gonna use what I know about Frog and Toad and the events in this story to predict or guess what's going to happen next. And remember when we predict or guess, we wanna say, I think, fill in your prediction. So I think, what's your prediction? Because what makes you think that? What is your evidence? Just like we're doing in writing right now. I think this is going to happen because this is what I know about my characters. Okay. So here we go. It's called Alone. Toad went to Frog's house. He found a note on the door. The note said, Dear Toad, I am not at home. I went out. I want to be alone. Alone, said Toad. Frog has me for a friend. Why does he want to be alone? Toad looked through the windows. He looked in the garden. He did not see Frog. Toad went to the woods. Frog was not there. He went to the meadow. Frog was not there. Toad went down to the river. There was Frog. He was sitting on an island by himself. Poor Frog, said Toad. He must be very sad. I will cheer him up. Toad ran home. He made sandwiches. He made a pitcher of iced tea. 
He put everything in a basket. Toad hurried back to the river. Frog, he shouted, it's me. It's your best friend, Toad. Frog was too far away to hear. Toad took off his jacket and waved it like a flag. Frog was too far away to see. Toad shouted and waved, but it was no use. Frog sat on the island. He did not see or hear Toad. A turtle swam by. Toad climbed on the turtle's back. Turtle, said Toad, carry me to the island. Frog is there. He wants to be alone. If Frog wants to be alone, said the turtle, why don't you leave him alone? Maybe you're right, said Toad. Maybe Frog does, want to, does not want to see me. Maybe he does not want me to be his friend anymore. Yes, maybe, said the turtle as he swam to the island. Frog, cried Toad. I am sorry for all the dumb things I do. I am sorry for all the silly things that I say. Please be my friend again. Toad slipped off the turtle. With a splash, he fell in the river. Frog pulled Toad up onto the island. Toad looked in the basket. The sandwiches were wet. The pitcher of iced tea was empty. Our lunch is spoiled, said Toad. I made it for you, Frog, so you would be happy. I'm going to pause there because I want to predict what do we think is going to happen next. Let's get our thinking caps on and try to think. What do we think Frog is going to do next? So we know up till now, Frog has been, he wants to be alone. He's on this island. Toad shows up. Again, Toad's kind of making mistakes. He's apologizing, but again, he falls into the river. Everything's ruined now. We know Frog or Toad needs a little help um, from his buddy. But what do we know about Frog? Well, we know Frog's a responsible character. We know he's a really kind character who always really likes to help his friend. Because remember in that other story where he was helping Toad clean his room? He really likes to help his friend. Um, and or when he when Toad lost his button, he helped him then too. So based on what we know about Frog and how he loves to help Toad, he's always there for Toad. He's also a very positive person. He's happy usually most of the time. Do we think the next page is going to show Frog being mad that Toad slipped and fell and ruined the lunch? Or do you think Frog's going to maybe be okay with it and happy that Toad's there? What do you think? Go ahead and think what your prediction is. I think Frog is going to be happy that his friend Toad is there because Frog is usually happy when he's with his friend, like hanging out and finding his button or when they went into his house to clean his room. Okay. So what do you think? I think what's your prediction because what evidence or what character traits do you know about frog? All right. I'm going to go to the next page. Let's see. But toad said frog. I am happy. I am very happy. This morning when I woke up, I felt good because the sun was shining. I felt good because I was a frog and I felt good because I have you for a friend. I wanted to be alone. I wanted to think about how fine everything is. Oh, said Toad, I guess that is a very good reason, reason for wanting to be alone. Now, said Frog, I will be glad to not be alone. Let's eat lunch. So whatever your prediction was, check. Was it right or did you need to change it a little bit? But either way, what we did here is we made a prediction. We guessed what might happen next based on the evidence we have about our character or both our characters. We know so much about Frog and Toad that we can kind of start guessing what's going to happen next before we even read it because we know them like they're our best friends or they're like our brothers or sisters or parents, right? So for your activity today, you're going to do the exact same work, but on your own.